All right. This is lot. This is recording, so no one can erase it. It's going to be on the internet forever. Forever so, and ever, amen. We heard about your music. I uh, love your new single, uh, one, uh, one Way Street, right? One Way Street, yes. So tell us, uh, have you always been into singing? Uh, when did it start? Did you want to be a firefighter when you were young, and then all of a sudden you heard a bird singing, and you're like, oh, I'm going to be that, or... You're funny. Um, no, I've always, I've always wanted to sing. I've never wanted to do anything else. It's always been my dream to create songs and hopefully, um, like reach people around the world with my music. Like my goal is to change people's lives, like the artists um, that I've listened to growing up. So I've, I've been singing as long as I can remember. I could, I think I, I could sing before I was even actually speaking, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, interesting. So you learned to sing and mm -hmm. do tones before you did words. <laughs> yeah, I was always humming and then um, I graduated to talking. <laughs> but singing has always been my first language. That's how that's how I'd like to think of it. Excellent. And then you chose uh, country music as uh, more of your path. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more on uh, why why country music. Yeah, definitely. I've my parents played everything for me growing up, so I didn't listen to only like country music. I listened to rock, to blues, to to trap, to rap, to hip hop, everything. And for me, I wanted to create my own type of genre. So even though I'm in country music, it's my kind of country. You can hear all of my influences in the music that I'm creating. So you can hear traces of hip hop, traces of pop, or I mean, some of it is traditional country music. But I wanted to make sure that um I was creating not only creating my own lane but being authentic to who I am and that meant uh doing the genre that I'm doing excellent well sometimes you have to be a trailblazer in your own uh in your own way um one of my Definitely, favorite yes. uh, instruments is the banjo do you have any songs with uh, featuring a banjo oh yeah like probably <laughs> I'd say, um, so my first album's coming out September 8th. It's called Bad Girl Bible. And I want to say probably 10 songs have the banjo in it. I, I love banjos. I love it, love it, love it. Excellent, yeah. I don't girl. play it, but I love listening to it. Nice, yeah. I, my grandpa left me a banjo, and uh, I can strum a few chords, but that's about it. <laughs> you're, like, that's where, you're like, that's where I draw the line. Yeah, I'll, le I'll leave it up to the uh, professionals um the professionals that's how i feel too i'm like oh i hear this but you play it i'm not gonna touch it you play it exactly um so with the new album coming out uh do you have a tour set mm -hmm. uh what any anything big on the horizon that you're uh, excited for there's so much that i'm excited for um i have some performances coming up what i've been kind of focusing on right now has mainly been well, everything, everything feels kind of new since it, it's my first album. So like all the interviews getting lined up, all the all the music videos coming out, just everything as a whole has been like a lot, but at the same time, I feel blessed. Um, so everything kind of feels like a big moment to me. So I feel like, I, I, I don't know if I'm answering your question. Uh, sorry if I'm going off track, but I feel like everything that's coming up is going to be so new. So it's going to feel like a big deal. So you're just trying to live in the moment uh, as you progress in your career. Yes. Oh, that was, why was your answer so much better than mine? That was like perfectly said. It took me like five minutes just for you to say that one thing. <laughs> it was it's like quite all right. It's quite all right. Let me ask you this then. Uh, what has been your favorite <laughs> moment thus far? Oh, oh man, that's hard. I would say, I would say one of my top three moments has been, um, um, doing my first like arena shows um, I toured with Reba um, but there's been so many other things I got to perform with Luke Combs um, for a CMT um, live music uh, sorry for the CMT uh, special I don't know there's so many there's so many things it's hard to like just choose one because I feel like everything has like is special to me and I'm sure most people say that but it's also true it's like how can you pick one thing when all these amazing things are happening I think I think if I had a if I had to choose one thing, it'd be the fact that I'm doing this in the first place. So you're living out your dream and uh, living it to the fullest. Yeah, definitely. So other than music, do you uh, play any sports, uh, have any other hobbies? 
Yeah, uh, well, at least I used to. So I wrestled in high school and I did jujitsu and some Muay Thai. Um, also did pole dancing to try and get more like athletic. <laughs> and and because I'm not like the best dancer, I was like, oh, maybe if I learn how to pole dance, I'll get a little bit more like more self-aware with my body. Um, so those are those are a few hobbies of mine. Definitely look. That's one of my favorite things to do. So you say you um, wrestled. So those are probably. <laughs> Sorry, they said you. So you said you wrestled. Are you a big fan of like WWE and all that, or that's too fake? I, to... I, no, no, no. I mean that stuff's real. Like, um, <laughs> I, I watched it growing up. My father, my father, uh, him and I would watch WWE, and then we would do these wrestling matches. And um, when I got to high school, and I was looking at the different sports, I was like. I should try wrestling and it's definitely completely different than like wwe wrestling but still either way it's a challenge it is especially when you're not athletic like myself <laughs> it's definitely a challenge so do you uh do you have an influence that has influenced you the most uh i would assume maybe your father is part of that music life um that... for well, definitely my parents um my parents have created me to be like who i am and they are the reason I'm an artist in the first place, all the music that they poured into me and all of their like dedication and and work to get me to where I'm at. So they're they're definitely my heroes. They're also veterans. So I look at them and I just wanna kinda I wanna be able to have the same impact on people that they have had. Um, which I, I mean I hope I'll be able to do, but they were out there saving people's lives. So music <laughs> you know what I mean. Right. I'm sure you've gotten to, you know, see most of the country by now, uh, but is there a place in the world that you're just dying to go perform? Oh, that's a great question. I've actually never been outside of the country. Um, that is one of my goals. I, I told myself, I promised myself I'm not going outside of the country until I perform outside of the country. So when that happens, then I'll get to travel um, outside of the U.S. I've, I've been to a lot of places over the uh, throughout the U.S. I was born in Alaska. Uh, lived in Alabama, California, and now I live in Nashville. So I've been I've been a, a little bit over uh, all over the U.S., but I'm looking forward to actually going outside of the country and experiencing like different cultures. Born in Alaska, what uh, were you a hunter, a fisher, and then what was the most uh, interesting you know thing that you did up there? My parents, well, since my parents were in the military, they're in the army, so they were stationed in Alaska. And so I was there for until I was about four years old, and then we moved to Alabama. Oh, okay. So you you were really so I didn't get to, to I didn't get to experience the hunter hunter life. Yeah, no salmon fishing, no no halibut, no deep sea. Well, mm -mm, you're gonna you're not me. You're nope, gonna have I to might go back up music, there. But I'm not. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I said you're gonna have to go back up there and ride a glacier. <laughs> that you said that <laughs> that's awesome now you know what if i were to go back to alaska it would be just to ride a glacier there you go it'd be based on your idea yep mm -hmm. yep yep there we go um do you golf at all mm -hmm. you do no no i do not i do not golf it's funny because i have a i have a friend of mine his name's jamie johnson and he's um He's uh, like a country music legend. He's awesome. And he, after he brought me on tour with him, he was like, we should go to Top Golf." And I was like, I've never been. Oh my goodness. I tried. <laughs> this is, this is the thing. Let me, let me just tell you real quick. Most of my life I was, I've been cross-eyed up until like two years ago and I got surgery I'm trying to <laughs> zero in on something specific. My eyes don't want to focus. And so try to hit the ball. It, I missed like three times before I even actually hit the ball. So it was a very interesting, interesting journey. So I guess all that to say is no, I do not play golf. One last question. I'll let you get, get back on your route to fly out and hit the friendly skies, as they say. Yes, sir. Yes, what, sir. Would you, what would you say would be the thing that you would want to, you know, give to anybody out there that's, uh, listening or reading this interview like with you know any words of advice inspirational quotes or mm -hmm. you know uh, a one-liner a phrase mm -hmm. or you know maybe a you know a long story I would say that my advice for anybody coming up that wants to be 
um, whether it's a musician, artist, entertainer, songwriter, whatever the case is, um, to definitely follow your heart and your dream. And I know a lot of people say that, but at the same time, people can tell you to do things that you might not want to do. And if your heart isn't in it, don't do those things. You should like the sky is the limit. You can do anything that you want to do. There's there's going to be obstacles, but at the same time, if you have it in your heart and your soul and you feel like you have a purpose, do that purpose and don't let anybody distract you or tell you not to do that thing. Um, that's definitely my advice because people can try and change you and, and some might want you to do what they think is best for you, but at the same time, if you have a goal, you have a dream, you have a desire in your heart to do something, um don't let anybody take you away from that and don't let yourself take and and don't and don't um stop yourself from also doing what you want to do because it seems like it could be quote unquote unrealistic I don't believe in things being unrealistic if you want it you can have it it's just a matter of how you go and get it and get to it and there you go that, that'd be my advice hey, <laughs> from your lips to the world may all listen and heed, and heed your uh your your wisdom um, I do have to ask you one last thing. Oh, I see, hope it's wisdom. Yeah, I, I did see you were drinking something uh, other than water, which is a life source, uh, which I also think is kind of an uh, oxymoron because I feel like it slowly kills us because it, it erodes rocks, but yet it gives us a way to survive. So it's like, it makes no sense. Uh, other than water, uh, what, would be, what would be that one drink that would just be your go-to? The answer should be throat coat tea, but right now I have a new favorite. It's called Celsius, and it's like it's like it has two hundred milligrams of caffeine in it. And so this has been my best friend for the past two weeks. I don't know if that's good to say, but that is uh, what I've been drinking. So right you now that, that is something that I've been relying on. You hear that, mm -hmm. Celsius? You have yourself a new spokeswoman, so uh, you need to uh, hop on her email and uh, you know pick her up. She she needs at least six racks to uh, be talking about drinking. Otherwise, she might be switching up. There You're you go. Awesome! I love your energy. Thank you very much. I love your energy as well, and I look Thank forward you. to uh, your new album. When is it coming out? Thank you. It's coming out September 8th. It's right around the corner. Yay. Excellent. <laughs> well, safe travels and thank you so much for your time. We look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.